right. Okay, oh, if you, let's see, uh, if you have a strap or a strap-like object, let's have that and we'll use that for some shouldery stuff. Um, so it doesn't have to be an actual yoga strap, obviously. It can be like a belt or a, a dog leash or like a tie from a bathrobe or, you know, whatever. Any of those things will work for this purpose. All right, so actually I'm gonna go grab that, but if you're not already lying down, go ahead and lie down. Let me just grab a strap. Lie down and just take a moment to get comfortable to feel that you can kind of relax and just let gravity do its thing. Um, let your body soften. Let's take a couple of breaths together. Take an inhale through your nose, big breath. And just let it go with a sigh, exhale. Let all the breath just pour out. Do that again, inhale through your nose. Fill the belly, expand your ribs, holding the breath at the top, relax your shoulders. And sigh again, exhale. Let your body again soften and relax. One more time like that, inhale. Take the fullest breath, holding it at the top, soften. Try and sip in more, inhale. And release it, exhale. Pour the breath out, all right. Start to cultivate your ujjayi breath. So take a few rounds, just coming into the breath. Finding the, the sound, right? Come into, into a nice, smooth, steady breath. And then we'll see if we can, I don't want to say add to the steadiness, but, but kind of, in that we'll investigate the breath, right? So take a moment as you're here, and your whole job is just breathing ujjayi breath. And notice which, as you're just, you know, doing this, which is longer, the inhale or the exhale? And not to give it some sort of analysis or anything, but just to notice that. And let's try and even it out. So the one that's a little bit longer will shorten it a bit, and the one that's shorter will lengthen it a bit. So they kind of, you know, meet, split the difference in the middle. Um, and you can count out the breath if that helps, which is what I do when I do this. Um, so just taking a moment or two here. Well, I shouldn't say moment. I should say a couple of minutes, really, to just play with the breath and try and even it out. So we're making the inhale the same length as the exhale. And this exhale, the same length as the inhale. Right, so matching the breath. And just counting it out, right? Use whatever method helps you, but I think just a simple counting is probably good. Take a pause right, as you fill up on the inhale. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pause the breath briefly. And exhaling and again pausing. And you can lengthen the pause too if you like. To possibly be in the same way. As your inhale and your exhale.
that the pause is actually just as significant as important, you know, fundamental practice actually in and of itself as the exhale itself. In fact, they say that the pause at the bottom of the breath is an emptiness. In chakra queen flaka, pulling the breath out. It's the most potent moment. So feel free to lengthen the pause as well to match, to match the length of the breath. If it, if it feels too long, if the pause feels too long, you don't have to make it that long. It's not like that. We're just playing with it. Just a few more rounds, just exploring. Sama Riti is even turning of the breath. Sama is even singing. So we'll try and stay with a nice smooth breath. Now, you know, obviously the length is not going to match for the entirety of the practice, but we'll, we'll see if we can stay with the, the steady Ujjayi breath anyway. So as we gently release this, just take an inhale and open your mouth and then sigh the breath out, exhale. And then coming back into your pace of Ujjayi breath. And wiggle your fingers and your toes. Just keep with this nice, calm, steady, easy vibe and stretch the arms. Reach overhead, oh, stretch the legs. If you want to circle the wrists and the ankles while you're here, feel free to do that. Circle the arms out wide, hug your knees into your chest. And as you do that, right, just notice how everything feels. Feel free to pick your head up and snuggle your forehead in between your knees. And then we'll take the twist, bringing your head back down to the floor if you lifted it up. Drop your knees over to the left and reach the right arm out to the right. Oh, and just take a quick, well, not that quick, but it's sort of. Sort of short, brief twist. Ah, all right, and then back up through center. Take an inhale as you get to the middle. And exhale, legs over to the other side. Dropping the shoulder, just melt it down towards the floor. Ah, and then, you know, feel the stretch across your chest. Your shoulder, how's your hip, your low back here, right? You may feel your low back if it's a little tender. Mm, all right, back up to center. Okay, let's send the heels up. Stretch the backs of the legs. <laughs> Just nice, like feel the feels, you know. Have plenty of time. Enjoy some easy stretching right before I have to do some ab work. <laughs> so just enjoy that. All right. And then let's bring the legs back up and we'll bend the knees, but keep let them kind of fall in like you're hugging your knees in, except you're not going to hug your knees in. Um, so basically, we're going to try and keep the legs heavy. You'll see in a second, and for, for me too, for everyone, the temptation is going to be to kind of keep, use your legs and kick your feet up, but we're going to try and just keep them heavy here. Arms out wide, partially because if we put them down here, you're going to use your hands a little bit, and we're going to try and just make this about our abs. So scooping out the belly, right, 
like you're trying to press the back ribs. Well, actually do that. Just press the back ribs down into the floor. See if you can pull your low back. Well, let's get your sacrum off the floor, pulling your knees in towards you. So just give that a whirl. Try and pull the sacrum up, pull your knees in. You kind of want to use a little momentum, but resist, right? It doesn't matter how much they lift. Just pull your knees in towards your shoulders, towards your armpits, round the spine. Mm. And then slowly cur uncurl. <laughs> so it's, it's going to be a tiny little movement. It's going to be a tiny little movement. Let your feet come down onto the floor so the front of the hips can soften a little bit. Open up, lengthen. Let's bring the knees back in. <sighs> so doing that again, if you want, there's probably an urge to pick your head up because the front of the body is kind of shortening. You can if you want to. You don't necessarily have to keep your head on the floor, but pull your knees in. Feel free to lift your head. It does kind of help, but if it feels like too much for your neck, you can always put your hands behind your head. But you can keep your head, your head on the floor as well. So draw your knees towards your shoulders, right? And I know you've been doing this for a couple of breaths already. Peel the sacrum away from the floor. Just try a little bit more. Pull the knees in and release it. Oh, thank goodness. Soften. <sighs> if you want, you can straighten your legs. We're going to do that one more time. All right. I'm just going to scooch them down a little bit. Okay. So knees up and in. <laughs> You feel your abs, you feel my abs. All right, so arms out wide. And again, you can pick your head up if you like, or you can leave it down on the floor. Press your back ribs down. Scoop your hips off the floor. Like you're trying to put your knees in your armpits, right? Try to touch your knees to your shoulders. I'm not really getting a ton of lift here. It's not really about that. You're gonna lift however much. It's about your abs engaging, right? So draw the ribs in, pull your hips off the floor, touch your knees to your shoulders. Oh, try one more breath. Oh my gosh. All right, release it. Oh, your abs, so squeezy. Send the legs out long. All right, so strong abs are really useful to give the low back support in all of our standing poses, right? Pretty much all of our standing poses. Um, and especially as we get more flexible, of course, it's easier for our bodies to move around. So in a lot of ways, being not flexible is more stable. Like it's, it's you know, less to wrangle. So we like range of motion, but we also want to be able to manage our, our range of motion. So the abs being strong is really helpful for our lower back, especially the lower abs. All right, let's go sit up. It's oh, enough chit chat. <laughs> sit up and hold on. Let me sit on my blanket. There you go. Relax your shoulders. <laughs> Take an inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Big stretch. Exhale, press the palms. Pull the hands through center. Do that again. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Pressing the palms. One more time, maybe with an O. Hands to the heart. Inhale. Uh... Set an intention for your practice. Reaffirming why you came to class or any intention that resonates with you this morning. So as always, we will use this as an opportunity to tune in, to be present, to really experience each moment fully and come to the practice with some curiosity about today, each pose. 
today. Take a breath, inhale. Sigh it out, exhale. Release your hands down, open your eyes. Let's grab our strap. Grab your strap or whatever strap-like structure that you have. And I know this is everyone's favorite, <laughs> but we're gonna um, we're gonna do a little shoulder threading. So hands wide. I think you've all done this with me before. What's this thing? <laughs> like did my group change? Uh, so have your hands as wide as you like. I'm gonna, you know, my shoulders been kind of weird, and I'm still kind of going easy on it because it's still. <laughs> Doesn't feel 100% quite right. Uh, so I'm gonna start kind of wide, just to err on the side of caution. Uh, and I encourage you to take a similar approach, right? And then just enjoy the stretch. Ah, right, I can feel that things wanna kind of grip and tighten around this. So try and keep your jaw relaxed, your face soft. All right, let's go back up. Open the chest, stretch your shoulders, however much, right? In amount that feels good, that feels safe, <laughs> right? I feel like with our shoulders, even if my shoulders are feeling good, this exercise is a little dicey, you know? So don't feel like you have to get your hands any sort of prescribed distance from each other. 100% up to your shoulders and how they feel today, right, right now. So I'm just getting like a quarter of an inch closer. <laughs> and we'll do one more up and over. Oh. So just be in that stretch for a second. Unless it doesn't feel good or safe in your body, but otherwise, hang out here. And then I know for me, I just totally jam my ribs out. So pull the ribs in right, those whole tips of the ribs, hug them in, and slowly, all the way down, okay, here we go, <laughs> and then let's come back up and try, I know it's harder when we're lifting away from gravity, but let's see if we can try and have a similar, like nice slow, slow lifting up, I'm already going faster than when I went down, <laughs> Slow, keep the rib tips hugged in. All right, Whew. up, and let's bring it all the way down. All right, so we're gonna do something a little bit different, so we'll bring the hands a little closer together. They can be a little wider than shoulder distance, or shoulder distance if that feels comfortable for you. All right, let's switch the cross, actually. Put the other shin on top or in front. All right, back up. <laughs> And just, you know, have some tension in the strap. So pulling it so that it's nice and taut above your head. Relax your shoulders down, hug the ribs in. Now, with some resistance with the left hand, really pulling to the left, but let your right arm win and you're leaning into the right. Oh my God, he's gonna hit me in the head. Leaning over to the right, but resist with the left hand. Right, root the right, sorry, left sit bone down. Maybe shift the gaze up. How's the breath? All right, back up to center. Uh, arms strong, right? Keeps the, keep the tension in the strap. Same idea other way. So resist with the right hand, but the left hand wins and it pulls you into the stretch and then send the right sit bone to the floor. Oh, keep the arms strong. Maybe shift the gaze up. Keep hugging the ribs in. Breathe. One more breath. Back up, back up, stay strong. Lift up, maybe look up, inhale, and exhale. <sighs> Bring the arms down, let your arms soften and relax. Give your hands a little shake, your shoulders. Okay. <clears throat> you can set this strap off to the side. Hopefully your shoulders are feeling pretty good. So let's bring the feet out in front. So before we even do our, our regular tabletop, we're going to do an inverted tabletop. Um, and it doesn't have to ever turn into full curvotanasana. We're, we're just getting warmed up, so 
Don't worry get about getting your legs straight. Well, let's start with the knees bent, right? Your feet relatively close. So you imagine that as you lift, your knees will push forward and stack over your ankles. So planting the hands, and you can turn the fingers out, but have them pointing towards you. Roll the shoulders back and down. Lift your chest. All right, hug the ribs in. Press the feet into the floor, lift your hips up. Right, press evenly through your hands. Lift the hips, lengthen your tailbone out through your knees. Right, kind of tuck it under, see if it'll lift any higher. Take one more breath, press your feet evenly down. And then let's bring it down. <sighs> hips to the floor. Ooh, give the arms a little shake, right? Let's do a Navasana or, or a variation of Navasana. Lift the feet. We warmed up our hip flexors a little bit already, so you may feel them already right now. Reach your hands forward. Maybe straighten your legs. Lift up. Yeah, we're not going to stay here that long. Three, two, and bring it down. <sighs> All right. Back into Purvotanasana, maybe your feet go a little bit farther away. Again, we're not trying to necessarily straighten the legs right now. So you can give yourself a little bit more space. And what that'll do is give us a little more, little more heat in the posterior chain. <laughs> so a little more space, give it a whirl. You may also, and it depends on how you move your body, you could potentially get a little more shoulder stretch here too but you don't have to move into that. So let's just play with it a little bit. Plant the hands, shoulders back and down, lift your chest. It's a little harder for me to get my feet down before we come up, but certainly as we come up, press the feet, right? And again, lifting the hips, lengthen your tailbone. So try and tuck the tailbone under, press the whole hand, press the index finger knuckle, press the thumb. Press both feet down, right? Press it to your heels and try and pull your feet towards your fingertips as you lift your hips a little higher. One more breath. Ah, come on down. Woo! Do you feel your hamstrings? I hope you do. Okay, of course we're gonna do Navasana again. This is like a break. <laughs> it's a break from Purple Tanasana breath. Shoulders, oh, hold on, lean back, float the feet, watch those shoulders, back and down, right chest lifted. Reach, maybe straighten, whoa, because <laughs> I took over. Lift the chest up. Right, breathe, try and stay lifted out of the lower back. Pull the legs in a little closer. All right, three, two, one. Come on down. Whew, you feel your quads when you pull your legs in, or at least I felt mine. All right, your quads are here. <laughs> so just notice, notice what you're noticing. Um, right, the, depending on, you know, what's stronger, you know, you'll feel different things. All right, Purple Chasma, one more time. I put my feet as tight and farther away. I will not straighten my legs right now. I don't think that's really necessary just yet. Uh, so keep a bend in the knees, but consider having your feet a little bit further away. Shoulders back and down. So you're lifting your chest, right? Puff the chest, hug the ribs in. Right? Then we add the hips, lift the hips. Press your feet down, press through the hands, to lift your hips, right? Press the hands down to lift your hips up. Scoop the tailbone under. Oh, I feel my hamstrings. Press your feet, press the big toes. Pull your feet back, one more breath. Oh my gosh, come on down. Okay, I'm gonna just quickly, quick stretch. <laughs> oh, I feel my hamstrings. So much, okay. <laughs> mm. So we'll use that stretch actually. We'll keep stretching, but we're gonna stretch from here. So instead of coming into regular Navasana, 
Grab whatever you can grab. Feel free to put your strap. Right, we're gonna try <laughs> and get a little closer to our legs. Right, pull the legs in, pull them in however much. Lift your chest. Take another breath, right? Stretch the backs of your legs. Right, don't just let go and fling to the floor. Lower through Navasana. <laughs> Lower all the way to Ardha Navasana. Curl the tailbone under. Lower down. <laughs> Shoulders down. All right, slowly lift up. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Come on. Ah, okay. Let's go into a regular tabletop. <laughs> Do a little bit of cat cow before we head to down dog. All right, come on over. Ah, this will feel nice, right? Enjoy. Lift the chest. Ah, more around the spine. Mm. Go like that a few more times. Really mobilizing the upper back. Good. Move your attention into the spine that's between your ribs. Right, and as you roll through your cat cow, just see if you can sense the movement all along the length of the spine. Right, but especially between the ribs. One more time. <clears throat> All right, find your tabletop. Plugging the ribs in, pressing the floor away. Let's walk the hands, a big handprint forward. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Ah. Oh. Press back, stretch back through the heels. This feels really good after all those promotes and asanas. If you want to pedal your heels, oh, stretch it out a little bit. All right, press back. Hmm. Okay, steady the down dog. Take a breath or two. Come forward into plank pose. Inhale. Exhale back. Downward facing dog. Inhale forward. Exhale. Two more. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale the plank pose. Strong legs, strong arms. Exhale. Down. Inhale to plank. Now pause. I'm going to just back up on my mat a little bit. <laughs> All right, we're going to lower slow motion to the floor. Shift forward, right front of the body lifted, lower for five, four, three, two, hover one, <laughs> all the way down. Ah, shoo. All right, <laughs> reach your arms back. Curl the tailbone under. Let's do Shalabhasana. Inhale, lift the legs, lift the head, the chest. Reach back. Oh, exhale. Lower down. Let's interlace the fingers. Curl the tailbone under. Inhale, lift up. Float the chest, the legs. Reach the knuckles back. Oh, so stretchy. Come on down. Switch your interlace so you have the opposite thumb. On top. All right, before you even lift, right, lift the fronts of the shoulders. Even, even though I don't always want you to do this necessarily, 
But for today, why not? Squeeze the shoulder blades in towards each other, right? Pull them together and notice what that does, right? Pull your shoulder blades together over your spine as if, right? And then lift up. Oh, lift the legs. Reach back. Are you breathing? Press the thighs a little higher. Inhale. Exhale. Ah, bring it all down. Hmm. Relax. Little wiggle waggle. Soften. Okay. Plant your palms. Tuck your toes. Take an inhale. Exhale. Pressing the floor away. Inhale. Exhale. Coming to downward facing dog. All right. Breathe. Stretch back. Take an inhale. Exhale. Lift the heels. Bend the knees. Walk. Float. Bring your feet to your hands. Lift up halfway. Inhale. Fold back down. Exhale. Inhale all the way up. Exhale your hands to your heart. A breath and sigh it out. All right, let's keep this show on the road, shall we? Release the hands down, sweep out and up. Inhale, hinge and fold. Exhale, halfway lift. Inhale, back down. Exhale, all the way up from the glutes. Coming up, exhaling. Keep going. Arms out, inhaling, exhaling, <laughs> inhale, lift and lengthen, Arda. Exhale, bend your knees, hands are down. You can step or jump, but let's step right foot if you're stepping. And left foot, plank pose. Tailbone under, right? Tailbone under. High on the tippy toes. Breathe. <laughs> We're going to lower again to the floor, slow motion, five, four, three, two, one, ah, down, okay, <laughs> baby cobra, right, so palms by the ribs, curl the tailbone under, float the chest up just a little bit so you can pick your hands up, right, lift the chest a little higher, see if you can, Melt the pubic bone down. Make that space in your lower back. Press your pubic bone into the floor. Inhale, exhale, lower. Ah, all right. So just check in with your back. Right, it's some work to press the pubic bone down, right? But it's a worthy cause. <laughs> all right, we're gonna do that again. Keep the legs relatively close. Tops of the feet flat into the floor. Palms by the ribs. Inhale, lift your chest. Maybe come up a little higher this time. Oh, right, okay. Circle your shoulders. Circle them around. Oh, again, squeezing them together on the upper back. Just for a moment, give them a squeeze. And then let them separate a little bit. Lift the chest a little higher, inhale and come on down, ah, lower to the floor. Oh, okay, little wiggle waggle. One more time, cobra pose while we're here, bhujangasana. Tailbone under, right, low back stays long. Really, like you're trying to um, round the lower back. <laughs> Get the word out. Keep tucking the tail, right? Keep rounding the spine in the lower back, or trying to, it's not really gonna round. Inhale, lift your chest. So again, the spine in between the ribs, coil it in, lift the chest up, coil it in all the way up the length of the spine, between the shoulder blades, all the way up. One more breath. So starting at the bottom rib, that's where we want our back bend really. And then one vertebrae at a time all the way up. 
right? So just feel how your back feels right now. Just for good measure, let's do it one more time. <laughs> one more time. Inhale, come up. Right, so as you, okay, let's go slow. As you slowly lift, right, coil the spine in, right between the ribs, one vertebrae at a time. And you can keep lifting higher, right, those two things aren't necessarily related. But coil the spine in, press through the hands, lift your heart, melt the pubic bone down, use your upper back, stay lifted, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Get a little long. There we go. All right, pull the low belly in, lengthen the lower back. Now let your whole spine stretch and lengthen right now. Take one more breath here. Lift the heels, bend the knees, walk, float, feet to hands. Halfway lift in. Fold, exhale. All the way up, firm the glutes to rise. Pull the hands through the middle and keep going. Hands down, palms out, inhale. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Bend the knees, hands down. Step or jump. We'll meet in plank. Left foot back. Right foot back. <laughs> Into your plank pose. All right. Right forearm down. Left forearm down. Into the plank pose. Forearm plank. Press the forearms, press the hands. Widen your hands or try to if they're not shoulder distance. Lengthen the heart forward, drive back through the heels. One more breath here, your abs, right? Walk it in, dolphin. Walk it in. Press back, right? Press back, feel the stretch. Feel the stretch in the side body. Your back, right? Breathe. Oh, so good. Step back to forearm plank. To sphinx pose. Hips melt down. Flatten the feet. Lift the chest. Oh, relax your face. All right, curl the tailbone under, right? Get your back nice and strong. We're lifting the arms. Slowly. Try and stay lifted. Oh, not quite. Right, lift the chest. Maybe sweep the arms out and up. Oh my goodness, inhale. I can feel myself slowly sinking oh, down to the floor. Your arms are heavy. Mine are heavy, I guess. <laughs> All right, waggle the hips, take a breath to soften. Okay, fix my and stuff. Okay, let's do Sphinx pose one more time. Come on up. All right, so hands as wide as your shoulders, right? Nice and wide. Elbows under your shoulders, chest lifting, tailbone under, right? Coiling the spine in. Right between your shoulder blades. Can you get that spot right there? Oh, maybe press into the palms to lift the elbows. Stretch the belly. Take one more breath. Enjoy your back bend. And bring it all the way down. Oh, right, okay. Back bends are the best counter poses to all of our computer sitting. Oh. Right here, upper back will be happy for all of this. <laughs> okay. To forearm plank. Come up. All right, we're strong. We're strong. We're amazing. We've got this. Tuck your toes. Pull your ribs. Right, pull them in. Pull your belly, your hips, your thighs. Tuck your tailbone. Lift your knees. Oh, right, feel the front of the body. Strong, lifting away from the floor. All right, lean into the left forearm to plant the right hand. 
So press yourself back up to plank, inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. I breathe. Let's lift the right leg. Send it up. Turn the toes out, lift the hip, bend the knee. Stretch. Oh my goodness. Heel open. Switch sides. Left, right foot down, left foot up. Stretch. Right, enjoy that. So good. Touch your foot to your head. I always think that every time I do this, not that I've ever done it, but <laughs> not that I've ever touched my foot to my head in that pose. All right, stretch back, inhale, exhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, walk, hop, feet to hands, halfway lifted, fold, exhale. Utkatasana is the chair pose. Bend deeply, lift. Tailbone long, right? Tailbone long. Oh, I got hair in my mouth. <laughs> Tailbone reaching, right? Feel your low back lengthen. Reach your sit bones to the back edge of your mat. And as you feel the weight, pull back into your heels. Press your toes back down. Press your toes back down. Inhale. Exhale your hands to your heart. We're lifting the heels, lifting the shoulders, so your shoulders are over your hips or try. Oh, I'm tipping over. All right, as we stand up, we're gonna reach the arms overhead, lift the heels, keep them lifted all the way up. Oh, firm, try and firm the outer shins in. It'll help keep your big toes on the floor, which is a big challenge for me in this position. All right. Arms go wide as we bend the knees. Press your knees forward. Heels stay lifted. Take your time. Stay strong all the way down. Ah, hands go with it. <laughs> Bakasana. I'm going to just back my feet up a little bit. So you're in a really good position here. Bend the elbows back. Feel free to put something out in front of you if you're nervous about tipping forward. You guys know, that's a thing. So, right hand, shoulder distance. Full hand pressing. Knees high up the arms. Bend your elbows. Put your knees on the backs of your arms a little bit. Right, your knees are like up in your armpits, practically. Scoop your belly, lean forward. One foot, oh my pants, both feet. My pants totally slid. And then maybe hop it back. Good job, Devendra. Dog, dog. If the hopping back doesn't work, you can step back <laughs> and lower down through any vinyasa. We'll meet in down. All right, catch your breath. Shake your head out. Relax your jaw. All right. <laughs> Send your right leg up into the air. Take an inhale, exhale your knee to your nose, round. Inhale, reach the leg back. Come forward again, touch your right arm with your right knee. Inhale, lift the leg up and back. And then bring it across and touch your left arm with your right knee. Lift the right leg up and back. Inhale, then exhale, step it through. Land lightly. <laughs> Bring, uh, let's lift the back knee. Let's start in crescent pose. Come on up. Lengthening the tailbone down. Lift the heart up. Soften the rib tips in. Let's bring the hands behind. Interlace the fingers. Reach the knuckles back and down. Oh, feel the stretch at the front of the right, left rather hip. Tailbone lengthening down through support. Release the arms, sweep them out and up. Inhale. Exhale, slowly bring your hands to your heart. Spin the left heel to the floor. Lining the heels up, heel to heel. 
warrior two. Ah, oh, so stretchy. Right back leg straight. I totally feel my back knee just like, she's not paying attention. We don't have to do it. <laughs> yes, you do. You're setting an example. <sighs> Honestly. <laughs> so back leg straight, right? It's working. Strong. Strong back leg. <laughs> Bend. Feel the stretch. Right? Feel the stretch. It's glorious. Feel the squeeze in your glutes. Yeah. Awesome. Let's take one more breath here. Let's come forward into Utita. Let's go forearm to knee. Reach the top arm up and over. Hug the ribs in. Maybe look up and see the ceiling. Ooh, feel that long stretch of the left side. Sweep the left arm up and around and bring it behind you. Half bind. Catch the thigh, or let your hand rest on your hip or your little back. Open the chest. Breathe here. Yeah, so good. All right, we're gonna slowly come into a bound, trikonasana, straighten your right leg, and then let the right hand just move to your leg somewhere. Draw the right hip under and lengthen the right side of your body. The right side. Can you lean back into your arm a bit? Right, lean back, open the chest. Take one more breath here. <laughs> Let's try this in Ardha Shandrasana. Look down. I feel like I'm going to need to step my back foot in. I don't know that I can make this step. I don't think I can. <laughs> a little bit step in. Oh, come on in. I'm looking at that distance and I'm like, I don't know if I can do it with my arm like this. Send the tailbone long. Breathe. Open the chest. Use the arm behind you to peel the top shoulder back. And then gently unravel it. Reach up. Maybe look up. Oh, so good. Since we're here, why not jump asana? Bend the top knee. Catch the foot. Oh, take the stretch just for a moment. Lengthen back through the knee, hug the ribs in. What happened to your abs? Oh, back to regular art. I release the foot. Let's exit through warrior two. Bend all the way back. Oh, there she is. Reverse it. Lift up off the back waist. Right, your heart to the sky. Come up as you inhale and release as you exhale. Oh my goodness, step back. Oh, now I know you want to just take a vinyasa, but sorry. <laughs> You're in plank, I hope. Or if you took a vinyasa, just meet us in plank. <sighs> Left forearm down. <laughs> right forearm down. Oh. And do the plank pose. We have to get, you know, both sides an opportunity to lower in. All right. Your abs. Widen the hands. Walk it in. Walk it in, walk it in. <laughs> stretch the chest back. Enjoy the stretch. Bring the feet a little closer together. Steady everything. Pick your right leg up. Try not to let anything else move. Breathe. Right foot down. Steady as she goes. Left leg up. Steady. Left foot down. Dolphin. Walk it back to forearm plank. Urgh. Sphinx, hips down, chest up, flatten your feet. My arms are a little bit tired right now. Oh, I'm really pressing into my elbows probably more than I should because my arms are tired. Lift your elbows up when you can't do that. Press it to your hands. 
circle the shoulders back and down, and then lift the heart back up. Curl the tailbone under, take one more breath. Oh my gosh, all the way down. Okay, soft wiggle waggle. <laughs> we'll do one more of those. If you feel like you wanna lift higher, just pull your hands back. You can move your elbows more back towards your waist. It's fine. Uh, do what makes sense for you. If you're like, what? No. Then you don't have to do that part. Right? You can sink sphinx. Lovely. You coil the spine in. You use your upper back. Uh, feel the muscles of the upper back. Curl the tailbone under, lengthen the low back. Can you lift the elbows up without crunching up your low back? Using your upper back. Oh, stretch your belly, right? Stretch the belly. Lift the heart up. If you want, just for a breath, bend your knees, tilt your feet to your head. I'm totally doing it. All the way down. I'm not doing it, you guys. All the way down. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> Well, you know, we have to get off the floor. We're gonna do it through forward plank, of course. Tuck the elbows under. Press the palms. Relax your shoulders away from your neck. Tuck the toes. Right, just go slowly. Lift the belly, the hips. As you lift your thighs, tuck the tailbone under. Right, feel your low back lengthen. Then lift your feet. Yes. Isn't that nicer when you're low back? Lean into the left forearm, right forearm. Lean into your right forearm. Plant your left hand. And then press back up to plank and down. Exhale. A little wide. Downward facing dog. Oh my goodness. Okay. Lift your left leg. Send it up. Inhale. Knee to your nose. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Touch your left arm round. Touch. Inhale. Touch your right arm. Squeeze it round. Touch. Inhale, lift. And step it forward. Look between the hands, bending the back knee to come up into the crescent pose. <sighs> Take over. Right, lift the hip bones up. Melt the shoulder blades away from the neck, right? So the front of the body has this lifting up feeling, right? And the back of the body, I don't want to really say that it's lengthening down, but certainly the shoulder blades are melting away from the neck to help scoop the chest up. Let's bring the hands behind, find the bind. Do the opposite interlace. If you're not sure, just do the awkward feeling one because you probably did that one on the first side. And even if you did this one, you can't have to do this one more. Lift the hips up, hip bones, the frontal hip bones. Oh, one more breath. Find releases, send the arms up and back. Inhale, exhale, hands to heart. Warrior two. Spin the right heel to the floor. Narrow your stance if you need to, and open up. Right, so it's a lovely stretch to the inner thighs, right? And then the kind of hugging in of the glutes. Back leg straight, right? Straighten the back leg maximally. <laughs> My back leg is a little bit unsupported in it. Okay, wide across the chest, strong, strongest legs. Lean forward. Forearm to knee, I just put my foot a little bit more forward. Forearm to knee, let's start up and over. I'm gonna turn around because this just feels weird. <laughs> up and over, stretch. <sighs> right, and then after we enjoy that long line of the right side for a couple breaths, we can sweep the right arm up and back to rest on your low back or your hip. 
Or maybe you can come around and hug your body. Roll the right shoulder back, open the chest, zipper up. So this is where it will be super helpful to engage those lower belly muscles and lengthen the tail. All right, slowly into trigonasana. Keep your bind. Straightening the front leg. Let your left hand just go where it goes, and then lengthen the left side. Lengthen out through the armpit. Lengthen the left hip under. Opening the chest. How's your breath? So again, we're going to move into Ardha Chandrasana. And I just feel like it seems so far. <laughs> Well, let's give it a go. Okay, one step, and then into the balance. Woo! Breathe here. Use the bind to open up. Lengthen the left side again. Releasing the bind. Send the right arm up. Yeah, and then we're here, so why not? Catch the foot. Oh, reach back through the lifted knee. Right, breathe. Hug the ribs in. Stretch, Chapasana. Gently release it, Ardha Chandrasana. And then to Warrior Two. Oh my goodness. The reverse. Oh, stretch up and back. Lift the back ribs off the waist. Come up, inhale, and release it. Oh, hands down. Step back. This time, yogi's choice, vinyasa. Or you may want to just sit back in the child's pose for a breath or two. <sighs> Smooth out the breath. Okay, I'm just making sure everything's okay over here. All right. Oh, so maybe you're in the down dog, maybe you're in child's pose, but let's all, if you can anyway, Head into downward facing dog. <laughs> Just appreciate your legs. Your legs, your hips, right? Okay. Stretch back. Give them some long. Take an inhale. Exhale. Lift the heels. Bend the knees. Walk. Float. Feet to hands. Lift and lengthen halfway up, inhale. Fold back down, exhale. Bend your knees. Utkatasana, the chair pose. Oh, all right. I know your glutes and your hips and stuff, but let's just do it anyway. Garudasana, bring your left arm under your right arm. So here's one place for your strap. If your hands don't press, you can put the strap between your hands. And just let it hang down and grab it with your other hand and fill the gap that way. All right. So we're doing the arms. Lift the elbows. Press the wrists away from your face. Soften your shoulders down. All right, ready? Add the leg, left leg up and over. Crossing the thighs, hug the foot into the outer ankle or possibly tuck the toes in. Right, square off. Lift the chest, inhale, exhale, round. Pull the belly back, tap, inhale, lift up. Again, round, little tap, lift the chest, squeeze your legs, squeeze, one more. Shoulders away from your ears, tap the knee, lift your chest, go eagle. Fly away to standing splits, unravel, dive. Hands to the floor, left leg lifts. Oh, feel the stretch. Maybe catch your right ankle with your right hand. Lift the left big toe. Maybe both hands on the right ankle. Balance. One more breath, reach the lifted leg. And then slowly, Match the feet at the top of the mat. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Take a breath, forward fold, or come down into the squat for a moment or two. Ooh, obviously, we're gonna do the other side, but have a moment. 
Just appreciate your right leg, your right knee, your right hip. Okay, so maybe you're in the forward fold, if you're in the squat, lift the hips, forward fold. <laughs> All right, inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, reach the arms, chair pose. All right, other side, so right arm under left arm this time. Pressing the palms if you can, or use this strap. Lift the elbows and melt the shoulders down. Move the wrists away from your face if you can. All right, and then let's come into the legs. So bring the right leg over the top. Tuck if you can, or just press the toes onto the outer ankle. All right, lift the chest, squeeze the legs, inhale, exhale. Touch the elbow to the knee. Inhale, lift up, squeeze your legs. Exhale, just a steady gaze, right? Steady gaze. Inhale, last one. Exhale, come on in, tap, lifting up. Find your eagle pose, square it off, and then fly away, down, standing splits. Woo! Oh my goodness. Reach the right leg up, right big toe reaching for the sky. Left hand to the left ankle, and then maybe the right hand also to the left ankle. Lengthen up with the big toe. Take a last breath or two. Slowly bring it down, foot to the floor. Oh, take a moment. If you want to stand up and shake it out or come into the squat or whatever you want to do. Your feet. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Let's take a vinyasa. <sighs> Standing. Inhale. <laughs> Exhale. Oh. Inhale. Exhale, here we go, take it back. Vinyasa of whatever flavor suits you right now. Put that crap. All right, have your strap handy for this next bit. Okay, right leg up into the air, inhale. Exhale, step it forward. Back heel down, warrior two. All right, so we're taking the journey <laughs> to uh, Bird of Paradise. So my teacher training students, well, mine and Anne's, not just me, um, wrote this lovely sequence yesterday. And this is an homage, an homage to that because I don't think I'm remembering it exactly right. <laughs> but um, they came up with this really cool sequence and um, and I told them, uh, like as we were working on it, like if I like it, I'll use it. So um, here it is. And I, I feel like I'm, I mixed up the order a little bit, but um, from what they wrote, but it's all good. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna end up in Bird of Paradise. So if you know that your shoulders appreciate the strap, right? And what I would like for you to be able to do as we come into this, Hold the strap in your left hand just in case, right? I want you to be able to get wide across the chest. So, right, we bring the top hand behind to the hip. Maybe the right arm comes under and you can catch. But the problem is if your left shoulder now is down and you're sort of halfway facing the floor, we're missing out. If you can open up, right, and get the shoulders to stack, great, do that. If you can't, the strap, right? Let this strap fill the gap, hold it between your hands, and let it get wider until you can. Open your chest, right? And, and stack your shoulders. All right, so we're here in the mind. Hopefully you're breathing, right? Look down. I'm just gonna keep using the strap so you can see. Step your back foot to the top. So I'm gonna to turn to face you. <laughs> so the bind is around your right hip, hopefully. Stand on your left leg. And now you're gonna lift your chest and take your right leg with you. So lifting up, 
I don't really need this strap, so I'm in a kind of funny position, but it's okay. And then we try and extend. Extend the lifted leg. Oh my goodness. Open the chest. Right, and then back down. Hmm. Back out to your warrior two. So I'm gonna, stay, or your Utita Parvo Kanasana, really. So your left foot goes back. Right leg stays at the top of the mat. Step, step. Come back to the pose. Right, opening the chest, back to Utita Parjva Konasana. And then we'll undo the bite. Reach the top arm. Oh, up and over. Oh, right, so good. And then up into warrior two. Reverse it. Oh, awesome job, everyone. Take it down, step it back, and vinyasa or don't. Right, or don't. I will leave that choice to you. <laughs> Good times. All right. Adho Mukha Shvanasana. All right, you know. Left leg, inhale. Step it through. Warrior two. All right, so. My goal for you now is to maintain the integrity of the Utita Parjva Kumasa. So I'm gonna show it to you from this angle this time. Right, we're wide, straight ahead. Forearm to knee, we can start here. Reach the top arm up. I'm gonna actually bring my hand down towards the floor. My right hand comes around to my hip, right? So I'm here. I may need to lean my top shoulder down a bit to find the bind, but then once I catch it, the key is I need to be able to open back up. Can I get back into this nice straight line? Do you see what I mean? Then we look down. Right in. Please add the strap. Step the right foot forward. Oh, it will be my strap. Okay, now your left leg will come up. Lift, hold on, there we go. Stand, straighten, right, straighten. Woo, back down. In theory, you do that with a little more intentional movement, but <laughs> when, you, when you're back down, try and go back out through warrior two. So the left foot, right foot goes all the way back. Open up the chest again. Release, stretch the top arm. Oh, up and over, and then let it lift you to warrior two. Into your reverse. Oh my goodness. Come up on the inhale and release it. Oh my gosh, stepping back to take the vinyasa, to go straight to down dog. Oh, I just want the back bend. I just want the back bend. Okay. Oh, let's take a couple breaths in child's pose. Oh my gosh. Come on down. Oh. Okay. Right? Good stuff. All right, so, well, why not? Let's just do it. We're gonna stand. Um, so feel free to, from your child's pose, to be down dog, right? And we'll take the yogic route. Or if you're like, I'm already halfway standing up, just keep standing, it's fine. Inhale, lift, exhale. Oh, oh my God. And you're welcome for that. Hands <laughs> your heart. Okay. Uh, let's do not or Jocelyn. <laughs> this was the one, this was the one not decision I just made on the floor because it was in the plan, but it's later than I thought. So but we'll just do it. Not Jasana is Lord of the Dance, Shiva's pose. Um, so it's like this, this energy of 
the earth. And well, fire, right? Because um, Shiva is the destroyer and, uh, you know, it's that kind of like energy of, well, fire, right, is transformation. Uh, so this pose has heat. That's the point I'm trying to make. There's a lot of heat. And um, so just do what you can. If you have an actual strap, you can use the loop. If you don't, uh, just wrap it around the front of your foot. I say let's stand on the right leg. Um, only because for most of us, if you're right-handed, you're usually right-legged also. It might be easier to just stand on the right leg first. So you just need to have it looped around. And then, I'll do it this way. When you bend your knee, just scoop it to the top of your foot, and then the arms come behind your head. Um, the hands really come behind your head. So this is a lot like our dolphin pose, right? So think about dolphin pose as you're here. Slowly lift the leg, it's more back bend, right? Hug the rib tips in, lengthen through the tailbone. So you low back people, send your tailbone down to the floor until you feel your low back lengthen. And then use your upper back, well, use your upper back to slowly start to scoop your heart up. Keep the low back long, right? Don't do this so that you feel your low back crunching. Look for the stretch in the front of the body, right? Hug the elbows in. The leg goes straight back, heart lifting up, right? Oops, I keep tipping over. Breathe. One more breath. We're still there. I'm coming back in. And then gently releasing. Shake it out if you weren't already releasing, because I know it was kind of long. Other side. So, plenty of time to fall and come back in. <laughs> this pose, you know, you're bouncing on one foot. Some days that's easier than others. If it's better for you to stand by a wall, just move to the wall. It's totally fine. All right, flip it over. Come on up. <laughs> so think about dolphin pose, right? Your hands are kind of behind you, just like they would be in dolphin. Right, lift up through the chest, but also lengthen down through the tailbone, right? The chest is lifting, the tailbone lengthening. And then as you lift your foot, the hands just walk down the strap until someday you're touching your foot back there, right? I don't know. I've only done that once in this pose. Ah. Oh, take your time. If you're still up there, lift your heart. One more breath. And then slowly, gently, Release it. Okay. I'm saying let's do it again, but we kind of need to start doing other things, <laughs> like cooling down. So first, let's do a squat. Oh my gosh. Mm. All right, on the way down. Oh. Let your low back lengthen. Right, breathe here, hug the knees onto the arms, press your arms into your knees, create a little bit of tension, let your low back stretch. Now, for those of you that can, we'll reach forward with your shoulders still inside your knees, reach around and grab your heels, and then you can sit back a bit, whoops, I'm gonna tip over, lean your head forward, Right, and just breathe into the stretch. Mm. Right, breathe. You can have the hips a little lifted or let them sink down. Right, but oh, right, it's a really nice stretch for your lower back. Take one more breath here. <laughs> and then oh, foot to the floor. Legs out front. All right. So from here, let's just lean back onto the forearms for a second. Wiggle, wiggle the feet a little bit side to side. Yeah, perfect. Good job, everybody. All right, let's do a couple stretches, shall we? Sitting up. You know, I want to do upside down time, but it's very, <laughs> it's kind of late. So if you want some upside down, you can always 
have your legs up for Shavasana, or just do some little upside down for a couple minutes after. <laughs> okay, so sit up tall, long spine, straight legs, reach up, inhale, fold. Oh, lengthening the back, oh, so nice. Lift up halfway, inhale, and then back out, maybe a little bit longer this time. Use your arms, hanging onto your feet or your legs or your strap, and, and a little bit of lengthening forward, a little pull. Melt the shoulders away from your neck. Oops. <laughs> And inhale, lift up halfway, exhale, release the rest of the way. Let's do a little low back stretching. <laughs> John Usher Sasana, um, one of the, I don't know, one of my favorite back stretches. Uh, so you can have, I know there's a couple of flexible people in this group. Um, so for most, most of us, the foot to the inner thigh, the heel onto the right side groin, the left heel, right, is great. And we're going to get an awesome stretch. But if you're very flexible in your hips and hamstrings, you may feel like it's just not quite like, mm. so you can, and it's very small. The heel just moves to the opposite side. The heel moves to the opposite side. So it's the left heel to the left groin. Right, and it, what that does is just push your right knee back a bit. Sorry, push your left knee. Your left knee back a bit, and it makes a pretty substantial impact on the stretch. So, either way, and if you try this and you're like, oh, if it feels like too much, just move your foot until it feels okay. Right, you do want stretch, of course. So we're doing all the same things, right? We're lengthening forward, trying to square off over the leg. Trying to give you like the straight ahead view, right? So drop the right, mm, left ribs down towards the floor, the backside ribs, and then the right ribs or the ribs with the front leg lift up away from the floor. And then you reach forward oh, and lengthen out over your leg. Mm, right, and it's a nice big stretch. Sink the left sit bone towards the floor. Press the outer left thigh down towards the floor. Oh, and just let your low back lengthen. Now, if your hamstrings are tight, you may feel the hamstrings more than anything else. And that's great too, because stretching your hamstrings is also good for your All right, here we go. We'll come up, inhale, halfway up, and exhale the rest of the way. Okay. We're just gonna switch legs. Oh, left leg in. All right, so just take a moment as we sit in Dandasana, just notice your two sides, right? Feel how the left side feels versus the right side, and just appreciate the niceness of that stretch. And then switch. So if you did heel, same side, do that again. If you tried the heel on the other side, try that. And then make any adjustments that you need to. Because we, of course, we try and mirror the sides, but if you need to adjust something for any reason, do that. All right. One hand, and then fold. Oh, right? Really lengthening the right side. Challenging the back leg side of the ribs to come forward. Oh, and that's where the juice. Right there, not lengthening forward. Well, it's in the lengthening forward and it's also in your right sit bone sitting back down, right? The outer right thigh sinking towards the floor. Breathe. Breathe and breathe. Oh my goodness, so stretchy, so nice. Mm. One more breath. 
Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, oh, the rest of the way. Nice. Extend the legs. Oh, give them a little shake, a little wiggle waggle of the feet. Okay, so we're going to do a hip stretch from lying down. So let's come onto our backs. Uh, and then you have Yogi's choice. Uh, maybe go Mukhasana the legs. Right? Maybe go Mukhasana the legs. Or if you prefer to thread the needle, thread the needle is nice. You could do a reclined pigeon, cradle the shin. Oh, right. I, I, I don't mind so much. I just think a hip stretch would feel pretty good right about now. So do what makes sense for you. Do what's going to feel the best in your body. I didn't think I would want to stay in this reclined pigeon, but I don't know. I think I'm going to stay here. <laughs> I thought I was going to do going across in the legs, but apparently not. Because this feels pretty good. So just now breathe. Do the minimum amount of work. And, and relax. Maybe close your eyes. Now that said, your mind may think this is a golden opportunity to start running through the day or the upcoming week or whatever it might be and you know what it's actually not <laughs> All right i mean it's, let's just enjoy this piece for a few more minutes so as the thoughts come up just let them go you can acknowledge their existence <laughs> but then just you know not right now i'm gonna make that choice all right last breath here inhale Side out. <sighs> All right, switch side. You may want to shake out that leg that you were stretching first if you want. Go for it. Do whatever. But get to the other side. Uh, All right. So again, we attempt to do what we did on the first side. But as you come into it, if you're like, "Ooh, this hurts my knee or my hip or whatever." Do something else, it's fine. You don't have to force it. This one hardly ever works anyway. Something's not working, just push harder. <laughs> Top doesn't fit on something, push harder. It's definitely gonna work. <laughs> you never know. So find something that works for you, so whatever it is. Find the softness here, the sukha, the sweetness. Mm, smooth, steady breath to help keep the mind steady. There is a, a, I'm not sure if it's called this, but it's basically an awareness meditation where you just notice all the things, right? So you acknowledge the thoughts, notice the thoughts, but try not to get caught up in them, right? Notice the sensation, but just notice and then move on to the next thing. Like maybe it's a sound that you hear or whatever, right? But really trying to experience the fullness of each moment and all the things that are happening in each moment, which of course we can't really fully do that, but that's the meditation. So you can do that now, you can do that even in Shavasana. Last couple of breaths. Mm, all right, gently releasing that. Oh my goodness. Oh, if you want to take a moment <laughs> to straighten the legs, so wiggle wag the feet a little bit, soften. We are going to take a twist. So as you hug your knees in, Easy sweep. Feel free to add a leg variation. We're basically doing the twist that we did at the beginning of class. But if you want to cross the legs, or you guys know a lot of leg variations, or you know at least a couple. So feel free to do any kind of 
leg variation that makes sense for you right now. And maybe it's just keeping the knee stack. I'm gonna cross. Oh. And just let the chest melt open. And my knees apparently don't want to stay crossed. So that's fine. Oh. All right, let yourself melt into the stretch. And then back to center hmm. and to the other side, switch. Oh. An easy stretch, easy twist. Just let your body open up however much. Your job is to relax and to grab. And then back to the middle. All right. If you want to do a happy baby or anything like that before you head into Shavasana, feel free to do that. Maybe kick out through the heels and do that stretch to begin with. <sighs> and then it's Shavasana time. So maybe you put your legs up so you get, um, it's not really an active inversion, but it's at least the effect of the inversion. Um, you can, you know, put your calves on a chair or a sofa or an ottoman or whatever. Uh, if you want to lie flat for Shavasana, that's what I'm going to do. <sighs> we'll lie flat, melt the shoulder blades down your back, opening the arms out to the sides however much. So I, I just like to take up space when I do Shavasana. So, you know, feel free to take up as much room as you And then we rest. All right, and again, maybe you play with that awareness meditation for Shavasana where you just notice each sound, each sensation, each thought without getting caught up in them. And then if you do get caught up, then the, the, the golden moment is that you notice. <laughs> right, and then you release it and you come back to the noticing of all. Let's rest and just notice.
Bless your fingertips with your thumbs. Just slowly wave yourself off. Maybe stretch if you like. Stretch it out. And then hug your knees into your chest. Just give them a soft squeeze. Maybe rocking gently side to side. And all the way over onto the right side. And take a breath. For two there, and we'll sit up, press the floor away, come up to seated. All right, as you come to sit, <clears throat> let's close the eyes. All right, relax the shoulders down. <clears throat> Take a moment to notice how you feel. Appreciate the effects of your practice, All right? What's different, what's shifted? Palms to press at the heart, snuggle your thumbs to the sternum. Let's close our practice and, and maybe join along. We'll, we'll do a single arm, chant a single arm. Take a big breath, inhale. Ah. your heart. Exhale back your chin in gratitude as always. Grateful, grateful. We have so much to be grateful for, right? Grateful for the good things, all the sweet stuff. Grateful for the things that challenge us. That's easier probably to find in right now, but right? Grateful for these things too, right? All of this stuff helps us, challenges us, helps us grow, right? And we need both. We need both. We need the balance. Right, so grateful for all of it, grateful for all of it. Thank you so much for practice, everyone. Have a wonderful Sunday. Happy May. Namaste. Namaste. Thanks, everybody. Oh, my goodness. All right, shoulders. <laughs> oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. Welcome. You, nice to see you all. Oh, hi, Brazita. Yes, I will sign you in. No problem. Thank, Thank you. Welcome. Thanks, Christine. You're welcome, Terry. You're welcome, Terry. <laughs> I hear my. <laughs> I hear your echo. <laughs> Hello. Tell Tosh I said hi. <laughs> hi, Sheila. Good to see you, everyone. Good to see you, too. Uh, someday we'll be back together again. <laughs> I'm hoping for the middle, but I don't know. They haven't said anything yet, so we'll you see. see. Oregon's governor just extended them. Uh, why? Uh, yeah. Like, why? Like nothing's happening. <laughs> like the hospitals are empty. They're all bored. Come on, guys. <laughs> I know. Well, okay. Hopefully June first. Cross our fingers. Oh, okay. I wanted to be sooner, but I don't know. I hear San Francisco is May thirty first now too, so that doesn't bode well for us. I don't think. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a fantastic day. Have a good Sunday, everybody. Nice to see your faces. <laughs> Bye, Sheila. Bye, Kara. Bye, Ellen. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, Tara. Good to see you. Yeah. <laughs>